Good morning from Yellowstone. Another day. I spy a Jonathan coming through the trees. Um, we are going to do some more sightseeing, <laughs> potentially, depending on how the roads are and everything. Um, this is our last day here, so we're going to go adventure, see what we see, stay the night one more time, and then move on. Did you see the bear tracks? There's no bear tracks. Yeah, check out that. The tops of the trees. So nice. All right, we have set up the car, which you can't really see, but it's back there. The GoPro batteries are charging, and that water bottle's empty. That one's almost empty. That one's empty, so I gotta go fill up some water. Where's the lids at? They're in the car. <laughs> if I thought I was gonna do this by myself, so I left all the lids, so I would have less to carry. That's understandable. All right. Really cold water. Mm. It's good. Are Cheers. you refreshed? Oh yeah. Cheers. Whoa, look at this. Oh, that's cool. That's... Whoa. <laughs> you just stick your finger through it. Why? From the other side. I meant through the snow, or break it off. Break it? But yeah. it's cool. I don't want to break it. <laughs> Rude. Just drying a bunch of towels. We've got the heater on, and we kind of keep them there like all day for the most part. And they just dry, so we gotta use them again. And now we have set up to start cooking some breakfast. So we just finished after our little morning routine kind of thing. We've got the car all ready and good to go. We've got breakfast taken care of. We are just about to take off and we did it just in time because look at this. It is starting to snow again. Yeah, it's a nice little stand. Anyways, not even gonna lie. The snow is my favorite to be in. This is what I like to camp in for sure. I know a lot of people aren't down for it because it does get cold, but it's so pretty. So to me, it's worth it. <laughs> Here we go, we're making our first sightseeing stop of the day of the day at Canary Spring. Look at this. Oh, this is amazing. You didn't want to stop. I know I didn't want to stop because we're running short on time, but this is so pretty. And it's nice and warm right here. Over. I'm not sure you can eat them. <laughs> the day Hobo Alley dies. Look over here. This is like you can hear this. Oh, it's so stinky. I can't even focus. I'm just gonna keep showing you guys stuff because everywhere you look, it's amazing. So the other day, when I said that morning glory pool and the fishing cone were my favorite things in Yellowstone, change of heart, I like this area. You can see over there where all of it's still flowing and then over here where it used to but it doesn't anymore. Yeah, like up there. Here it is, it's the Canary Spring.
Here we go. This thing looks amazing. There, it's flowing. It's flowing from there. Here's some more homies. Just eating and chilling. Eating and chilling. Eating and chilling. Just came into town, I guess, to do their thing. So yeah, we made a lot of pasta because we just made the whole box because um, it was kind of like the last, it's our last night here so we're going to get groceries tomorrow and we're trying to finish off some of the food that we've been like carrying around with us for like a couple weeks and we haven't eaten it. So we're like, well, if we're not going to eat it, there's no point in carrying it around because it's just taking up space, right? But also we don't want to be wasteful so we, because you know, we bought it so we want to eat it. So. That is how this came to be. It's kind of a remnant of all of the things that we had left, which is not a lot. So it's this red lentil like protein pasta. Ugh. The texture is like super weird. I think the reason this is so bad is because I'm not digging the red lentil protein pasta. It has, like I said, some weird texture. Oh, as Jonathan walking back to the car it scared me. No, go ahead. While we are also trying to finish off our food, it's kind of at the point where like we're really hungry, so we're just gonna go for it anyways, you know, when your body just kind of needs nourishment, so you're just gonna eat whatever's around. I was just telling them how our dinner is. Well, what do you think about <laughs> this pasta? Uh, bean pasta is not good. That's Lagoon what I said. pasta, that's yeah. what it said. I didn't read what beans was, they use. It's red lentils. Red lentils? Yeah. I was like, red lentils should stay red lentils. I don't think they should be pasta. I'd rather just like make some pasta and then put some beans and some tomato sauce together. I think that would be better than combining was, the pasta I was and basically saying that our dinner noodles. is the worst because we're just eating to stay alive at this point. But we're in Yellowstone, so cool. I mean, we could go buy overpriced groceries, but who wants to do that when you only have to make it through tonight? Mm hmm. And then we can go buy groceries at a normal place. Mm hmm. Normal prices. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's 50 cents a banana here. Like per banana. One banana is 50 cents. That's a thing here. I feel like you usually get a thing of bananas for like $1.26. I was going to say $1.33. I don't know why, but either way. Similar. I'm just remembering maybe the last less normal price, price we bought bananas. bananas <laughs> I paid. Yeah. Well, again, it was not 50 cents per banana. Oh, you're handing it back to me. 